Okay, Dominic ceased to go. It is May 14th, 2015, and the last quarter of the moon, Matsi Kapiseki, some the frog moon. And I'm out here at Shpopikami. Um, it's been raining today. I'm out here with my father who's visiting. And we're trying to solve a mystery. We were down in the coulee uh, yesterday evening, and my dad noticed that um, something is eating the sweet clover. Something is is taking like little 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 uh, uh, crescent shaped bites out of it, and um, so we're gonna take a look around, see whether whoever it is is out in the wet weather, um, and in either case, just check on what's growing out here, what's going on. Haven't been here for a few days, so I'm gonna check it out. So. It looks like some of the geese have been successful out on the big river island and have moved over here. Um, the family's now number 10 in this lead, 5, 6, and 3. And um, since they're all hanging out together, I'm assuming they're going to they're gonna form a, a super family later on in the season. Um, as I've seen at some other places, but I've never seen that happen here at Spopikimi. But um, given that we just walked up on them and they were all more or less hanging out together, um, I think that's what's going to happen. So we're going to have a we're going to have a big super family here in the a little bit later in the summer. They're all hanging out on the green bank. Yeah, they're all they were all on the cut bank here. But lots of goslings this year, way more than the last few years. Now here's, here's a good sample. That whole area there. All right, so here we see the sweet clover, and you can see the leaves all have these bites out of them. What's eating them up? We don't know. We haven't come across the creature who's doing it. So we're just going to look at... Uh, different plants and see if we can find anybody on there who's uh, making these bites. Also wanted to note this new addition to the uh, golf course fence. They've got this this uh, wire up now to keep the geese out of there. Although it's not going to work. Because they can fly. Because the parents can fly <laughs> and the goslings can walk right through there. <laughs> so that's brilliant. Well, the goslings will get to a certain size where that'll be difficult for them to walk through. But I wonder if the parents would fly when they have go goslings. I bet they'd take a little hop over there. I don't know. We'll find out. Find out, but... I guess it. I guess it was telling that they are eating on the cut bank this evening instead of on the golf greens, when there's no people on the golf greens to threaten them. So. That's a new voice. I have to go see who that is. Here you see the uh, choke cherry is finally in bloom. Choke cherries in bloom while the Saskatoon is done. And we were walking past the hoary crest. The hoary crest is in bloom too. See the Saskatoon. So it's start moving toward its berry phase. These ones, choke cherries, are just starting to open. But a lot of the plants are well open now. See these ones right here. These panicles are just all flowers. Haven't found the mystery bird that I heard yet, but I was uh, kind of stalking up on him, um, calling to him. Makes it sound like. So 
So I was, I was calling out to him, he was calling back, and I was able to get pretty close. Then he must have figured out, hey, that's not another bird. <laughs> um, but uh, another exciting thing, I gotta, I gotta try to find what that call is, I don't recognize it, but another exciting thing is I did hear a yellow-headed blackbird just now. So there is at least one yellow-headed blackbird um, here at the pond. Yeah, so the, the main mystery remains a mystery. We have not found any insects on the sweet clover um, or anybody else who might be eating them. We're not sure if it's insect or mammal. Um, but I suspect either we're, it, because it's been wet and cold the last, like last night and, uh, or yesterday evening and, and today, um, we either need to come out when it's warm, check, or this is something that happens nocturnally, so. No clue. But, um, but it looks like, you know, just judging by behaviors that I'm familiar with, to me it doesn't look much like a rodent because I would think a rodent would sit there and just gnaw and gnaw. And it doesn't look like a, a grub to me because I think the grub would do the same. I think it's something else and it has to be a very ubiquitous, you know, whatever it is because it's all over the place. Everywhere we've went, coolie top, coolie bottom, you know, on slopes near the water, away from the water. Every single sweet clover plant has its leaves chewed up like this. So, who knows? And only the sweet clover. Yeah, only the sweet clover.